Bees Beekeepers and the National Bee Unit. A real buzz of a tale, all told in just five minutes by this pencil, this brush and this hand. It's thought the earliest forms of bees, often gigantic, evolved around the same time as early flowers, developing a taste for nectar and pollen, and so inventing pollination. An early symbiosis, helping one another spread and diversify into ever more varied and exotic forms. Honeybees, with their colonies of thousands and complex social organisation, are often described as super-organisms with their famous hive mind, staying out of reach of prying beaks and fingers, fending off all but the toughest predators. Our own affinity with bees goes back thousands of years. Indulging, often painfully, in our lust for honey, the beekeeper evolves. Learning it was bees that helped our crops bear fruit, so constructing increasingly dares rares accommodation in return. Another mutually rewarding symbiosis. No, 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 no. Go away. But there's a sting in the tail. Insects and wild pollinators everywhere are in sharp decline. But while honeybees in the UK aren't declining, thanks to all our beekeepers, they nevertheless do face increasing threats from pests and diseases, and when they're in trouble, we know we are. This is where the National Bee Unit comes in. Ah, not enough people know about the National Bee Unit, let alone beekeepers. Formed in 1942, covering England and Wales, its staff of around 80 bee experts and inspectors are devoted to the health and well-being of bees. Of the 44,000 known UK beekeepers, around 400 are major bee farmers, some managing as many as 3,000 hives apiece, pollinating fruit and veg across the land and contributing millions to the UK economy annually. So having the NBU help maintain the health of all our bees can make the difference between full and empty shelves. Being the proverbial busy, bees whiz to and fro, back and forth, busy, 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 but often bringing problems home with them. And because they're so sociable, they can carry these to surrounding colonies as well. And their nests, dark, temperature controlled and bulging with food, when weakened, can attract a variety of other unwelcome visitors too. The Varroa mite sucks off the fat on bees and their larvae. Imagine one to scale on your back, recurring infectious diseases like American and European fowl brood, emerging risks like the small hive beetle laying its eggs in the comb, hatching and destroying the nest, so entire apiaries have to be burnt, along with their hundreds of thousands of bees. Tropilalaps and other deadly pests. Asian hornets capable of devastating whole apiaries. The NBU helps track them down and destroy their nests, often in challenging circumstances. On top of this, the NBU staff take care of a whole range of other vital jobs. Overseeing live imports and exports, checking for disease, helping inform legislation, study and research, investigating poisonings, certifying losses for bee disease insurance, teaching beekeepers bee health and apiary hygiene. And last but not least, there's Bee Base, a vital tool for sharing up-to-date information. So, here's how to find out more. Join Bee Base and help keep our buzzing bees a buzzy. The end. <laughs> no, 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 no.
Go away. It's finished.